Good afternoon, everybody. Hi. We are back home this week. We are. So we thought it'd be fun to do a pho shootout. Yep. We are here in Orange County um, in the Garden Grove Westminster area, mm -hmm. otherwise known as Little Saigon. Mm -hmm. So these guys would be the experts in making pho. Mm -hmm. So where's our first place? Our first place is called Pho Holic, which is right behind us. So we put our name in and it's busy. Yes, this is a Saturday afternoon, so it definitely is crowded. And Orange County just opened for dining. So we're just waiting our turn. Okay. Let's go. We got the regular plain steak pho. Here's the broth. It's always in the broth. Mm, really good tasting. You can taste that beef broth taste. It's a little bit sweet. It has the onions in there. It has all these different ingredients in there. Mm, really good. What, if you don't know what pho is, it's a really good clear soup base with rice noodles, um, different types of meat, and Thai basil and everything that you add in later. It's really good. I want to just taste the broth with the noodles and the meat first before I doctor it up with all the other sides, which is usually a soybean and usual Thai basil. Let's try this. Mm. Very good tasting. The meat, very thin. Good meaty. This noodles are very, very clear, very clean tasting. This is what you get, especially. This always tastes like something that you would get if you're sick. And it's one of those like really good medicinal type food. So because we're splitting it, they're cool enough to give us an extra little bowl with more meat, with more beef inside. It's so nicey and the extra bowl. So I'm gonna try this out, my turn. Go for the broth. Mm, very good beefy bone flavor to it. Just like you mentioned, it's perfect. Here's my bite. The beef is nice and tender. Big chunks of meat in here. They didn't go cheap on the meat for sure. The, noodle, the glass noodles are very good. Already added the bean sprouts and sliced onions in here. Really is delicious bowl. Mm. You know you gotta hit it with a little line. Oh yeah, that brightens it up nicely. This is a little mix that, you can, that they give to you. This is like a poison sauce. It's a little bit more sweet. This is sriracha. This sriracha for me is really spicy, but I mixed it together and it's not that bad. So I mix it together, put it with my bite of meat. Mm. It matches perfectly. So good. Fahalik, what do you think? It was really good. Wow, they uh, they good. set the bar pretty high on they this did, on this shootout. They did, and it's it's really relaxed. You come in, they call your name, you put your name on a little list, they call you, they serve you super fast, and then you pay at the front. So it is pretty easy. Yeah, just to let you know that small extra bowl of beef, which is a brisket. Yeah. Uh, everybody gets that with they their do. fun. So it was it was really good too. It was a great deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we have to go to the next one. Yes. Okay, just a short drive mm -hmm. is a Pho 79. Yes, as you can see, it's a James Beard Award winner. Uh-oh. So we'll see how it is. Yeah, apparently they got the award last year, 2019. Yep, and the way we pick these places is we went on Yelp. We picked ones with the highest rating the and the highest, highest reviews. Yeah, over here in Little Saigon. Mm -hmm. And look, at, I got my hair done. You like she it? She did. You like it? You look beautiful, babe. Oh, thank you, my bit. Okay, so anyway, back to the show. We can we just put a name in, so now we're gonna wait to be called so we can try this place out. Uh-huh, and everything is so far delicious. I see what you did there. Oh sure. Okay, 
here at Pho 79, we got the basic beef pho. There it is right here. Let's go in for the broth taste test. Now we didn't alter it any way yet, so this is the way it comes. Good, rich bone flavor. I'd say it's a little bit lighter in taste than the other place, than the first place we went to. Nonetheless, it's, it's very soothing and good. Oh yeah, now we're gonna try the noodles and the beef. Here we go. Good chew on that rice noodle. Let me try the meat out. A lot. Mm. So tender. It reminds me of like a sukiyaki meat. Very, very tender. Check out that piece. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna dock it up. Already, I've already docked mine up a little bit. I have the Thai basil in here, I have the soybean, and I took a little bit of that sriracha and hoisin sauce. When you make again, when you mix it together, it's not as spicy. So, here we go. That's a really good broth as well. This is going to be hard. This is a really good dish. Very filling. The same components. The noodles, the really rich broth flavor, and the pieces of meat. This is a really good one. Very, again, what he said is very soothing. That's a wrap for Fuzz 79. Yep, that was very good. It was. It was very good broth. Mm -hmm. uh, the meat was very good. It was a lot of meat also. It was. Mm -hmm. And then we got the same size as the other one. Here it's a medium bowl. The other one just gave you one size. Here it's the medium bowl. And they cost around the same price. I'll put the price on the bottom. Sure. So next oh, yeah. one, babe. One more to go. I know, I'm starting to get full. Good thing we're sharing these bowls. So yep. we'll be able to finish one more because again, it's we're only eating half of it. So. Yes, so you ready for the last? Final stop. We're ready for the last stop. Let's go. We have arrived at Pho 45. Yes, so this is our final one. We're mm -hmm. gonna try it out. I think it's gonna be... <sighs> you and your Pho uh... jokes. <laughs> Let's go. go. Broth test. Let's try this out. That's a really flavorful broth. Now let's do the meat. Here we go. Mm. It's really good. I'm not familiar tasting. It tastes like a really thin steak. And now the noodle test. Very good noodles. This is very well composed. This is gonna be a hard, a hard one to pick. Okay, so my turn to try out as it comes. Give this broth a taste. Oh, very good flavor. Has that nice, rich bone broth, a little bit of salt. Oh yeah, it's delicious. Give this meat a try. Mm -hmm. Good chew to the brisket. Very good. The noodles. Mm -hmm. 
the noodles at all places are great. It has that nice chew to it. Yeah. Like you mentioned, it's going to be a hard choice. Yeah, we gotta have some of that. And a little bit of that. They also give you jalapenos at yep. all places too. A little bit of lime. And how the other places came with the mixture, the sriracha hoisin mixture. This one comes in bottles. Yes. All, everything on the side. So that, that wraps up. <laughs> <laughs> that wraps up Pho 45. Yep. So in summary, we went to Pho-holic first. We went to Pho 79, right? So Pho 79, yeah. which Pho 79 is cash only, just yeah. so you guys know. Yeah, right here. There everywhere. you go. Okay. Pho 79 is cash only. And then Pho 45. So both Pho 45 and uh, Pho Holic, they take all different types of card, uh, credit cards. Sure. And uh, Pho, Pho 79 is cash only. Yeah, that's okay. right. That's right. Now, and what is Pho, babe? Yeah, just to give you a little background. Pho is the like like the noodle dish, but it's a national dish of Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So that would be similar to like ramen for Japan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a very popular dish. And like we mentioned before, there are just three, uh, I guess, simple components to it, which is the broth, the rice noodle, and the, the, and the meat. Mm -hmm. And all three of the places we went to, I believe they have like a non-red meat option, like chicken. Yeah. Uh, some of them might have vegetable, but they're still probably using the beef broth. So mm -hmm. probably not a good place for vegans, Vegan. at least the three that we went to. Mm -hmm. Now what you all been waiting for, mm -hmm. our picks. Our picks. Okay, okay, you ready? Three, two, one, four. Four forty-five. <laughs> I like four forty-five because I really like the broth here. The broth didn't need anything in it. The other ones didn't need anything at all. Again, don't don't forget we're not professionals. We just know what we like. And so I really like this one because the broth is super rich. Didn't re really need anything, and it's super clear as well it was it, it was meat, a very good problem yeah the meat is very good the noodles were the same in all three yes mm -hmm. yeah for me fahalik everything was perfect the, from from the broth to the noodles to the meat the meat was excellent over there uh, i believe everything would just season just right you didn't have to put any of the extra condiments that we put into it mm -hmm. but when we did we brought it to that custom level mm -hmm, we did. yeah so number two for me was oh that's a tough one that's <laughs> a tough one uh i would have to go with fuss 79. Really? Fuss, fuss 79. um i really like the meat over there they give you a lot mm -hmm. a lot of they meat they did give you a lot yeah the be the broth was a tiny bit on the weak weaker side but i think the noodle and the meat made up for it and then number three fa 45. mine you, yeah. was the number two was fahalik so okay. again, it was very well balanced, very good. The noodles again are the same in all three places, but the broth is where it's at. I mean, the broth is very good. Yeah. And what was interesting is when we were eating, cause we, again, we split all of these bowls. We were like, oh my gosh, this is so much meat. Did you give me half? I said, I gave you half. And there was like half left in the bowl and it looked like yeah. a lot. A lot so meat. that one, I really like Fahalik for my second. And then my last one was, Pho 79. Uh, again, I think because I'm really like the the uh, components all together, and I thought Pho 79 had a little bit less. That's the James Beard one. I thought mm -hmm. that taste was a little bit more weak in the broth. Which than it the was. Other ones. I, mm -hmm. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I think I think the meat and the yeah. noodles made up for it. Mm -hmm. Well, as you see, that we are n not on the same plane at all on this one. On this one. one. Yeah. So, so it does happen. Yeah. We do have it, but everything was. Delicious. It was fantastic. It was fantastic, <laughs> and it was a very good shootout for sure. Yes, it was. <laughs> Can I think of any more? No, please don't. <laughs> They've already hit stop and back already. <laughs> and you, not the only one that have the jokes, baby. <laughs> okay. Yeah, she just like she she jealous of my cut the cheese joke in Minnesota or Wisconsin. <gasps> okay. All right. Well, thanks everybody watching our fuss showdown shootout 
throw down everything sure. and it's in westminster come visit this is little saigon yeah little mm -hmm. saigon area some legit places here oh yeah for sure uh, i'm sure dan if you have any input yeah put it in the comments mm -hmm. below all right well thanks for watching again and we'll catch you guys on the next one